Hello there, I just want to give you a quick update today on where our game is and kind of a few of the new features we've added and things like that so hopefully you can see how it's coming along. So the first thing you'll notice is there are quite a few more items on the auction. Uh, big thanks to Phage for helping actually categorise some of the items and stuff. I've managed to go through and import all of the container section. So we're probably going to add a few more to this but this is kind of the, just to give you an example of the sort of stuff that we'll be showing. So there's a variety of bags and stuff you'll know from the game. I believe all of these are buyable through the auction house and you can see we've got some quivers and stuff as well and got, as well as a couple of epic bags and things like that. So that's containers, obviously there's a lot more items to import but it is going to take some time. I added a new button to get you back to the auction. This is because we've added some work in to do with navigating and stuff like that around the page. Uh, you can buy all these new items as well so they all go in and I forgot who the person is unfortunately but when you buy stuff now it now shows it now plays the actual coin sound it's much better than the auctioneers I find actually gives you a kind of a, a real indication that you're buying or selling something. I've done some work on uh, actually being able to see your purchases as well now that wasn't in the original version. So now when you click onto your purchase, you can see your individual orders and as well it gives you a bit of a breakdown of kind of if you're making profit or, or losing money and things like that. So overall, this is basically going to be the screen where you do most of your trading from. I quickly went in and updated the prices on Peace Bloom. We don't have the automatic pricing in, but as you can see here, when I change that in the database, it's now reflected. So on this Peace Bloom order, I'm now plus 17% up. So I would probably sell this at this time, as you can see there, just clicking the auction button to toggle between the views. So uh, selling works exactly the same way as buying. You can't sell more than you own, and it will kind of tell you the approximate uh, money you'll earn from that. We do want to look into adding in auction house cuts in the future to stop people doing lots and lots of micro trading, because um, it is generally bad for the economy if people are just making tiny percentage points and stuff every, time, uh, every single time. So um, we are going to add that in, but that's not in yet. As you can see, if you sell all of your orders, it will then take you straight back to the auction so you can buy more or something like that. And you'll see here another example of that. So that's about where we're at at the moment. It's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, we have the price change stuff still to go in. That is quite complicated and it is proving a little bit difficult. But our next thing will be working on getting in uh, price changes every five minutes. 